Greetings to you all. Today we are going to talk about some steps for dealing with angry people. Listen closely so you will understand the problem. Ask questions. Apologize. Stay calm and don't take their anger personally. Remain cautious. Propose an action plan and then follow through. Anger is an acid that can do more harm to the vessel in which it is stored than to anything in which it is poured. Perhaps a customer was unhappy with a poor delivery. A colleague was annoyed because you, you were given a project they wanted. Or a supplier was upset because of a late payment. It's easy to get flustered or upset when you are confronted with an angry person. And if you don't know how to respond, you can easily make the situation worse. However, when you respond calmly and with empathy, you can stay in control and you can diffuse the situation in a professional, cautious way. It's important to know how to deal with angry people for a number of reasons. Firstly, you can calm them down so that they don't take any action that harms you or others, either physically or emotionally. In doing this, you can break the emotional spirals of escalation that can cause so much harm and you can move toward solving the underlying problems that have caused the anger. Secondly, if you respond angrily to someone else's anger, you can easily end up being seen as an aggressor yourself. This is disastrous in a customer-facing role. Thirdly, by responding well to angry people, you can build positive relationships with them and experience less stress and unhappiness as a result of dealing with them. Finally, when you respond calmly to angry episodes, you set a good example for others. Your behavior can inspire the people around you, which can transform a team's ability to deal with anger. Types of anger. We all know that uh, we all know what normal anger looks like. However, people can sometimes suppress the visible signs of anger but seethe with the fairy under the surface. In these cases, anger can be expressed in quite subtle, passive aggressive ways. Passive aggressive anger is common in the workplace. And signs of it include uh, pretending not to hear or understand questions or requests, avoiding involvement or acting distantly, spreading gossip or rumors or telling hateful jokes to retaliate, obsessing, sulking or withdrawing, engaging in self-defeating behaviors, or setting others up for failure, behaving secretively, ignoring others, demonstrating an angry smile, strategies for dealing with angry people. It's useful to know how to calm angry people down. When you can diffuse someone's anger, it can enhance your professional reputation and help people who struggle to manage their emotions. Employ the steps uh, such as stay safe and involve others. If you feel threatened by an angry person, trust your judgment. Leave the room immediately if you feel unsafe or if you are too upset to resolve the situation on your own. Ask your boss or trusted colleague to work with you to resolve the situation. It might also be appropriate to report the incident, especially if the person is completely out of control and you feel there is a risk of violence. Don't respond with anger. It's very natural to get upset when angry people confront you, 
regardless of whether their anger is justified you feel under attack and your body floods with fight and flight hormones which can lead you to become angry yourself do your best to respond calmly and intelligently when you face angry people learn how to manage your emotions and practice deep breathing so that you stay relaxed during tense interactions if you feel yourself getting upset politely take a break from the conversation and go for a walk to calm down distance yourself emotionally sometimes another person's anger has nothing to do with you when you recognize this it can have a major influence on how you cope with the situation on an, uh, in another study it was found that when people understood that they didn't cause another person's anger they were not upset by the situation perhaps a team member received some bad news and are taking their negative feelings out on you perhaps um they feel overwhelmed by the by their workload or personal life or perhaps this person is uh, subconsciously using anger to make themselves feel better if you can recognize this you can distance yourself from the anger emotionally and you find it much easier to cope with at times however you may be the cause of another person's anger here it's important to take responsibility for your actions don't distance yourself identify the cause next you need to determine why the person you are dealing with feels angry use effective questioning techniques or uh, the five whys method to get to the root cause of their anger don't interrupt them while they speak and keep on asking questions until they fully explain themselves try to see things from their perspective as they express their feelings use active listening so that you really listen to what they say when it's your turn to talk speak slowly and calmly lower your vocal tone and use non-threatening body language this will often encourage others to calm down try not to use generic statements such as i understand how you feel or that sounds really frustrating instead use specific clear statements that rephrase what the other person has said don't overdo this or do it in a thoughtless formulaic way it's also important to communicate with empathy for example if your colleague says i needed that report last week and you have been ignoring me you could say so you feel that i neglected so you feel that uh, I neglected you when you needed information for me. Is that right? Demonstrate an interest in resolving um the situation and try not to judge the other person's behavior. This shows respect. Think about the last time you felt angry and remember how you wanted to be treated in that situation. Pursue a solution and ideally apologize once you have understood the situation try to avoid making excuses or defending your actions or those of your team or organization defensiveness can make others feel even angrier than they are already instead ask what you can do to resolve the situation and to make things right If you or your organization are at fault 
think carefully about whether an apology would expose you to a significant risk of liability uh, litigation. If it wouldn't, and people sometimes overemphasize this risk, then apologize appropriately. In many cases, this will calm the situation down and give you the opportunity to rebuild the relationship with the other person. It will be much harder to rebuild a relationship if you don't apologize. Distract them. One way to diffuse a person's anger is to focus their attention on something else. Another study in 1998 found that uh, illumination increased feelings of anger, while distracting can decrease them. You can do this with laughter. If it's appropriate, it's impossible to laugh and be angry at the same time. A funny joke an online video or an amusing blog post can take someone's mind off their anger. People who experience intense levels of anger might be unwilling or unable to change the subject, however, and you may annoy them further if you try to get them to focus on something else. This strategy will likely work Based with people who are only moderately cross. You help them control their anger. Angry outbursts from someone on your team can affect the whole group's productivity and morale. Become a coach or a mentor for those people and encourage them to learn how to control their anger. Practice diffusing anger. If you work in an emotionally demanding role, chances are that you have to deal with angry people regularly. This emotional labor can be particularly draining, especially when people are not equipped to handle these situations. Use role playing so that team members can practice dealing with angry and upset customers. They will also benefit from are developing emotional intelligence, good communication skills, and assertiveness. Communicate how you feel. You may wake or live with a person who frequently experiences angry outbursts. If so, once the anger has passed, it's important to communicate how this person's anger makes you feel. Try to avoid accusatory you statements which can make the other person feel angry and defensive for example if you say you upset the rest of the team when you yell and scream during meetings to someone they are likely to feel angry instead be respectful but assertive with the other person and use i statements to communicate how you feel for example you might try i feel upset and frazzled when you yell and scream during meetings and it makes it hard for the team to come up with good solutions anger is a universal emotion and no matter what you do it's important to know how to deal with angry people calmly and assertively Start by finding the root cause of their anger by asking open-ended questions. If this seems too daunting, you could introduce your team member to resources that will empower them to become more uh, self-aware, such as William's uh, 12 strategies for controlling aggress uh, aggression. If you or your organization are at fault, apologize appropriately, but be careful of liability issues and work on finding a solution 
ask them what you can do to resolve the situation. Try not to get angry yourself. Stay calm. Speak slowly and use non-threatening body language. A calm, rational response can go a long way toward calming angry people down. May God bless you.